Republican California Governor Gavin Newsom getting bailed out by the Supreme Court over a state's raging homeless crisis. And this time, he won't need China come in to clean up everything. The greasy one is praising the top court's decision that lets cities prohibit homeless people from sleeping in public spaces. He posted on X, quote, today's Supreme Court ruling in Grants Pass provides state and local officials the definitive authority to implement and enforce policies to clear unsafe homeless encampments and helps us deliver common sense measures to protect the safety and well-being of our communities. So, Kennedy, going to you first on this, given your experience in California. What are your thoughts about the ruling and also Gavin Newsom's response to it? I mean, it's, it's why people in California have grown to loathe him, mm. because he has really created and exacerbated the homeless crisis. You know, you talk about $24 billion that through ballot measures and various legislation has gone to fight homelessness, and it has only further exploded. And, and, you know, there's been such a massive uptick, and one of the big worries in California in particular is there's going to be a huge homeless population of people over 65 years old. Wow. That's... So, and, and they are just not doing enough. They have nothing to show for all of these resources. And he has always been in denial. And now his big pivot is blaming Republicans. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is a monoparty state. The Republican, uh, you know, the Republicans in the legislature, they're few and far between. Uh, they, they don't hold a lot of local positions. And it's because of people like Gavin Newsom and Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi. And some of the worst legislators and politicians in the country are from California. And bad politicians make bad laws, especially when they have the super majority. Yeah, they pump yeah. billions into this homelessness industrial complex. And as you mentioned, conservatives are not running any part of California. And yet Gavin Newsom had this to say about who's to blame. The California way of life we recognize is under attack. For conservatives and delusional California bashers, their success depends on our failure. They want to impeach the very things that have made us successful as a tactic to turn America towards a darker future. Jason, I mean... Really? The, the people of California have been turning to U-Haul to get their <laughs> get out of there as fast as they can. Yeah. Look, Gavin Newsom, when he first ran for mayor, his platform was that he was going to tackle homelessness. No. They have had billions of dollars, to Kennedy's point. They've had every lever of control. The problem has gotten worse. Their policies don't work. Mm -hmm. And the consequences have been devastating. So to try to blame Republicans and try to say they're under attack, you've been in the one in control, my friend. That's right. And you are the one that created the situation and exacerbated it and made it worse. And to yeah. that point, billions of dollars have been unaccounted for in this homeless crisis. I used to live in L.A. I moved May 2020, two months into the L.A. shutdown. But before I moved, I did a story on, around COVID and I went to Skid Row. And it's dangerous, and it's terrible, the set of circumstances people are living in. There's over 181,000 homeless people in the state of California, larger than many small cities. This is unacceptable. But in order to get change, you have to change leadership. And if you continue to vote for the same policies, just like Illinois, another state that I'm from, you're going to continue to get the same uh, devastating consequences. Yeah, but well, the governor is is happy about the Supreme Court ruling that Justice Sonia Sotomayor is not happy with. This is what she uh, put in her dissent when she wrote for the Supreme Court. The ruling came out last week that sleep is a biological necessity, not a crime. For some people, sleeping outside is their only option. So, Kennedy, that might be true, but also, doesn't the government have an obligation to protect the broader public from these dangerous encampments? on property that they're paying taxes to maintain. Yeah, homelessness, drug addiction, mental illness, it is, that has become Rape, the murder. California way of life, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, especially in these big cities. And Karen Bass, the mayor of Los Angeles, I do not know how she won. I don't know anyone who voted for her. And I know a lot of libs in California. Uh, but, but she's pushing back against this. And the ACLU, you know, they have been fighting on behalf of the homeless, and so people, I know friends who used to have businesses, like downtown LA for a few years was really, really cool. And that's where everyone was moving to loft mm -hmm. spaces, they were manufacturing there, yeah. and everyone I know has moved out yeah. because it became so dangerous, and the ACLU is fighting to keep these encampments all over downtown LA, not just Skid Row. Yeah. So that city, San Francisco, they're all unrecognizable, yeah. and unfortunately in a lot of these places, they have gotten past the point of no return, and I don't even think the Grants Pass versus John 
Wisconsin ruling is going to help them clean up what is necessary. Yeah, it's happening all over the country, right? Yes. Oregon, Arizona, all over. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.